Dimension.com. Today I'm going to look at the DST360 along with the X3 and show you how to measure a floor plan including window and door openings using the Leica Disto Plan app. So I've mounted my DST, I mounted my X3 on my DST360. I have a case here that I'm just weighing it down with. There's nothing in the case, it's the case for this unit. And that just gives me a little bit more stability here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a floor plan first, and then I'm gonna dismount this X3, and I'm gonna get the windows and the doors captured. I'm using the Leica Disto Plan app, which I'm gonna go into right now. And there's a couple things that we need to do. First, we need to turn on our unit. And now I'm gonna to go to my point-to-point -point measure, and I'm gonna pick the plan measure, or measure plan. And it's gonna ask me to go to devices. This one that's highlighted up here, that's got a red icon, I'm gonna hit connect. We're gonna hear the unit connecting, and now it's asking me to level. So I'm going to level this, and then we're going to turn it 90. And we're going to turn it 90 again. Once it's leveled, now I can just start taking points to capture this floor plan. So I'm going to find two points on the first wall. Every time I take a point, you'll hear a beep. You'll notice that I'm skipping the corners, and that's for speed, and that's also for accuracy. When you're going around, just make sure that you're not hitting the tripod leg with your feet. So now you can see our floor plan. And I'm just gonna hit this checkbox. And the last thing I wanna do is I wanna square this corner or I wanna connect to the, the dots here. So I'm just going to draw a line use my pen, between here Oh, I have to go to sketch for that. Always forget that step. And I'm going to draw a line from here to here. And then I'm going to hit this checkbox and it's going to close it. And now you'll see I have an area. And we have all of the corners that I skipped. And so in order to correct those, I'm just going to tap it and then go to intersect and square. And I'm going to do this on all of my corners. Sometimes it's a little finicky. It's nice to have the pen. You just got to highlight the exact line and intersect. Intersect is much faster to do it here than it is to try and get to the to the exact corner of the room. And the chances of you being off when you hit the exact corner of the room are greater. So now I have my floor plan. It's got the area, it's got all the measurements, even the angles that are happening here have been captured. And so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to add my windows and my doors. And in order to do that, I'm gonna disconnect my X3 from the DST. So I'm gonna do this wall first. So I'm gonna select the line. And when I select this line, it turns red and down here it tells me that I can uh, add opening. So I'm gonna hit add an opening. And notice a door comes right in here. So. We're gonna look at the opening of the door here. 
This do door opens towards the wall, and which is opposite of what's going on here. So I'm just gonna, first I'm gonna orient this in the right spot. So I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna say, I wanna enter the distance with the disto. And I'm gonna disconnect it from the tripod. And now I'm just gonna take the measurements like I would. So this is measured from here to the wall. And I'm gonna measure it by popping this out and placing it. That's 87 and 15 sixteenths. 87 and 15 sixteenths came in here. And now I'm gonna select my door And I'm gonna say, I wanna change direction because it's actually going that way. And we're gonna add the width. Thirty-six and a quarter. And we're gonna actually add the height. at 80 and 15, 16, 15, 30 seconds. And I'm gonna say, okay, there's my door. Now I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna select that wall again and add another opening. This time it's the window. So we're gonna select this, do the same thing again. We're gonna say this one. So I'm measuring from the window to the wall. And now I'm going to select and change the window to a window. So I've just changed it from a door to a window and I've said I want it to go out. And now I'm going to add the width of the window. And I'm going to add the height of the window. And I'm gonna add the distance from the ground, which is a little different than the doors. Okay, and now I'm gonna say check. So here's my door and my window. I have another door over here. I'm probably, I'm just gonna skip that because it's the same concept, but I can add as many as I need to. And so now we can see this, and I'm gonna actually hit 3D view. And it's gonna ask me for a height, so I'd like to add a room height. Ninety-six and seven thirty seconds. Add, and here's my three D view of the room. Or I can go to my sketched view. And then when I want, I just say export, and I want to export, I could export a PDF, a JPEG, a DX, a DXF, or a DWG. So if I say DWG 3D, it's gonna have all the windows and doors in 3D. Um, this part of the program is it has a cost to it, but I think it's like 26 or $29 forever. Um, Again, I'm Adam with AdvancedDimensions.com. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always email me at Adam at AdvancedDimensions.com or you can give me a call at 607-643-2636.